Hello and welcome on board, everybody. I am Scruffy Tam, your pilot on Scruffy Tam Airlines, where we wear crazy socks all the time. This series is a tour of uninhabited islands in the Pacific Ocean, and we'll slowly make our way over to the main Hawaiian islands, learning some history about these islands that are, some are very tiny. Uh, there's actually one reef We'll see some beautiful sunrises and sunsets as we go. Let me give you a quick recap on what we're going to be doing. This will be an eight, um, eight video series. One video a week will be posted on YouTube. We're going to start right here at uh, Midway. Midway Wild, uh, Wildlife Refuge. And then we'll fly over here to what we lovingly dub Pork Chop Island. You'll see why in the video. Then we'll fly over to these little tiny remote islands as we travel the Pacific Ocean all the way to the main Hawaiian islands, finally ending up right here on the main island of Hawaii at Airport PHTO, Papa Hotel Tango Oscar. Along the way, we'll discover beautiful beaches humongously tall sheer cliffs jungle and a lot of other surprises volcanoes so i hope you enjoy this eight part series videos we will be posting every wednesday at 2 p.m eastern standard time starting with this one also don't forget my united states coast to coast tour videos which post every friday at 2 p.m uh, that's a 30 part series that will post one every Friday at 2 p.m. until May the 1st. After this Pacific Coast tour, I am right now on twitch.tv slash scruffytam doing more ocean island tours. So be sure to come in, say hello, give me a follow, check it out. Hope you enjoy it. All right, everybody, I wish you clear skies, light winds and favorable conditions as you fly. Take care of yourselves. Hope to see you on a stream soon. See us later. I am out. Let's go. Not a duck. <clears throat> oh my goodness, excuse me. How are you today? Good to see you this morning. Morning for me, anyways. Hope things are well. And yeah, oh man, I miss a catters. You remember your first day here? Heck yeah. What was I doing? Your first day here, what was I doing? What? Soon it'll be your last. Why? Good day, Iceman. How are you, sir? Not a duck. What's going on? Are you leaving? Uh, are you leaving Twitch as well? Iceman. Good morning, sir. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. Hope everyone had a fantastic night. Oh, you're leaving the internet. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, not a duck. I will truly miss you. I hope um, I hope everything's okay regarding regarding that. Good deal, Iceman. I'm glad you're doing good. Right. <laughs> Not a duck. I didn't I didn't say it out loud. But uh yeah, I was wondering now how does one just leave the internet and still survive? Um 
not not survive like living but how does one um how does one just not get on the internet anymore and i mean it, it's doable because there's people out there that are that are off the grid but uh wow that would be tough um i'm doing fantastic ice man thank you I was up way later than I uh, way later than I usually am last night, and uh, but I slept really good. <laughs> Not a duck. You're so funny. Wait a minute now. So you're leaving? See me on the twentieth. Okay. All right. Not a duck. Take care of yourself. All right, so I'm trying to find the island on which I landed last night. That's not it. All right. So I think what I'm going to have to do is So there's the Hawaiian Islands That's the airport that Dwarven Egg took off from. So where is that little tiny island? There is a little, little tiny island that, um, that a viewer helped me land on last night. It was really amazing. And I want to take off from that island uh, this morning. So what I'm probably going to do is spawn... just right here in the air and then i'll um i'll watch my little nav map and fly myself to the island where i landed and then um i don't know <laughs> let's see here so i'm gonna go ahead and switch to uh switch to the sim there we go I wanted to make sure my control camera was still lined up. I bumped it a couple times uh, yesterday evening. So here we go. Let's fly. Tomos, Tomos, I am still out in the Pacific, sir. <clears throat> Tomos, you are going to be so proud of me. I landed on an island that was really really tiny thanks to a viewer who um, got on voice chat and guided me in uh, but Thomas how are you today let me give uh, Thomas a shout out and I need to shout out Iceman as well Is Thomas a shout out Iceman a shout out oh I thought that was the clip I did yesterday There we go. There's a short clip of one of uh, Tomos World's streams. Uh, Tomos is also, dude. I love, I love that song you made yesterday. That that was amazing. That was amazing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today? I'm starting out. I'm gonna start out on a little island that um that i landed on last night so let me let me warp over there to it really quick uh this is the quick way to get to places <laughs> because i want to start out on this island and try to take off from it i was able to land on it thanks to 
thanks to help from Dwarven Egg, uh, a fellow streamer and a viewer. But I also want to take off from it. We're gonna we're gonna see if I can take off from it and, and make this work. We will see. We will see. This should be quite interesting. Uh oh, I did not mean to tilt. Oh my word, what have I done? Hang on just a minute. I'm kind of new to this. Uh... Whoa. Oh my gosh, there we go. We'll, we'll leave it at that. How about that? Sheesh. Right, let's spin around. I'm trying to make everyone sick this morning. Fly over to this little tiny island. Oh, hit F5 to slow this loot. Okay, cool. Right now, I want it to be pretty fast. But yeah, I need to hit, I should have hit F5 when I was flipping. Oh, F6 speeds it. Didn't realize that. Okay. I'm getting pretty close to the island now, though. So I'm going to leave it. Leave it as is. There we go. We should be coming up on it right now. Oh no, thank you very much, Iceman. I, I do not mind help whatsoever. I appreciate that. I didn't even know that was a thing until last night. Or th this, I didn't know this was a thing until last night. So my next question is, once I reach the island, how how can I spawn from the island without having to reland and then take back off? Is there a way for me to spawn from the island or mark it in game where I can take off from it? There is no runway or anything. Oh, dude, no, Iceman. I will, you are not stepping on toes, dude. There it is. There it is. Dang it. I flew by it. All right, so here's, yeah, here's our little island right here. So save the flight. Hang on a minute. There we go. All right, so, oops. There, there's the island. Um... Okay, so I just slew to it, and when I press F1 to descend down on the ground of the island, I should stand there. Okay, cool. So I just need to, I need to slew over there. Okay, so wait a minute. What I'm going to do then is I will fly over here to it. That way I'm right on top of it. So when I get on the ground, I'll actually be, well, shoot, I'll actually be on the ground. So do I just hit F1 right now, Tomos? How do I um how do I descend to the ground? So So like when I hit F1, oh there we go. I have to hold it. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so now I need to tilt. Oh my gosh. Uh F5 to slow it. Oh my word, that was hit the wrong button.
Oh my gosh, what have I done? Oh, really? Okay. But see, now I have moved myself away from the island. Okay, let's get back on the island. No! There. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, cool. There, thank y'all for that help. All right, so here we are. We're on our little remote island. Uh, out in the middle of the Pacific, don't forget idle thrust. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Definitely don't want to roll off into the Pacific. Okay. Now what I have to do is figure out the longest path. Which is probably going to be starting this corner. Did I bring a picnic? <laughs> right. It's Crow Magnon. What is going on? Welcome to the channel. Good to see you this morning. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, at least it's a nice, smooth island and not a bunch of trees uh, to be in the way. Oh, it's almost, dude. We, I landed here last night, and you know how my landings are. But I landed here last night. I was so proud of myself. It was, it was really epic. So uh, one of my viewers got in there that was flying with me, got in their drone cam and videoed it from their drone cam and then um i clipped it this morning i haven't i'm gonna edit it but i haven't done anything with it yet so i'm gonna taxi over to the edge here and then i'm gonna attempt to take off need to be right on the edge i'm afraid of a rogue wave or something coming and just washing me away or a tsunami all right so here we go <clears throat> i know right crow magnum so there's one island that we visited uh, last night that was a little bit bigger than this one. And it had a, um, it's got a lake in the middle of it. And some explorers in the, like the 1800s brought guinea pigs and rabbits to eat the grass and to, um, to create meat for their meat packing plant. And they ate all the grass they ate all the vegetation on the island and then the animals started starving and poachers were getting them and all that stuff so hey who knows this could be rabbit island <laughs> okay so full flaps um i probably need to set my parking brake and go full throttle Parking brake on. Is there a short? What's the shortcut key for this? Come on. All right, here we go. Uh, full throttle, full flaps. Wait, do I need to? Can I save right here where I'm at? So I take. So I start back here. First of all, I do want to be on live weather, and I am. I, I don't want to be on real time though because it's dark outside right now. How do I how do I save it? Um, 
How do I save that ice man? Because I don't know if I'm going to be successful the first time around. Escape then save. Okay, well that makes sense. Oh wait, did I hit the wrong thing? No, I didn't. Escape. Oh, load or save. Dang, that was stupid. There we go. We'll save that. All right, cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, here we go. Um, all right. So I'm off of my brakes. I've got park brakes on. I'm full throttle. Full wrench. Full flaps. Whew. Here we go. Park brake off. And let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, crap. This is not working out very well. No, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Oh, I stalled. Crap. Okay. All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> so I had full flaps, and then I took flaps off as soon as I was up in the air. Um, yeah, my landing gear, it's fixed. So we'll try it again. I didn't expect my first go around to, to be good. So as soon as I get off the ground, I'll, I'll go, um, I'll, I'll, oh no, wait a minute. Oh, come on now. There we go. Okay. So now load, save, load. Oh, thank you, Iceman. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it though. I'm determined to do it. I'm kind of hard headed about things, just just a little bit. Okay, let's see where we're at on the camera view. Make sure my part break is on. It is. It is. Okay, perfect. Let's go external view. See where we are sitting. Okay, I'm good with this. Uh, but but rather than so, I kind of veered to the left. I'm gonna try to. I, I should have steered it with the rudder pedals, but honestly, I was so. Uh, okay. See, I don't know how to. I don't know how to do that before I before I leave the ground. I usually do it after I leave the ground. So let's see. Is it uh FLC mode, right? Needs to be on. I'm gonna set my altitude at a thousand and my climb rate at um seventy-four, I think I had a viewer tell me seventy-four was the ideal climb rate. Okay. Oh, you know what? I do need to. I do need to on um, <clears throat> on Sim Toolkit set up my flight plan again. So give me just one second as I do that. Um, Santa? Following us. Oh, Rolton! Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. How are you today? Are you a flight simmer? And if so, how long have you been flight simming? I am super, super new to it. 
but I'm not afraid to try new things as you can tell. But I hope you're doing well. All right, just getting my flight plan set up really quick. But I, ho I hope you're doing well this morning. Um, let me know, are you a flight simmer? If so, how long have you been flying? And are you a pilot in real life? How's it going, man? Welcome to what I call the sock drawer. Um, my community here is full of, just like a drawer full of socks, is full of a bunch of different people of different shapes, sizes, beliefs, colors, etc. But we welcome everybody. Oh, you're from Russia. Dude, welcome. Welcome from Russia. You are very welcome here in our channel. Okay, I think I've got everything set. We should be ready um, to where once I get off the ground good, I can just hit autopilot. You'll be lurking a bit. Oh, no problem, Tomas. Hey, I totally understand, dude. I just, I really appreciate you being here. Please fly in CDUFA. International audience. Oh yeah, cro Magnon. I, I, I get people, I have a lot of uh, British friends and people from the um, from the UK area. Tomos is from Germany. Um, I, I do have a lot of people from the UK, like I said, but yeah, that, that's awesome. So Rolton, right now for the next um, <clears throat> several streams, I'm flying in the Pacific Ocean but i am up for suggestions and uh one day soon maybe i will fly over to russia oh that's your home sweet that's awesome maybe one day uh i'll fly over there but for now i'm 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 flying the pacific ocean and we're just kind of doing some island hopping checking out some islands out here in the pacific ocean all right let's see if i can do this again here we go park and break off Try to get all the land I can. Pull up, pull up, pull up. And flaps off. No, we're not gonna stall. We are not gonna stall. Don't panic. I was panicking a little bit with my client and so I was trying to climb too fast. We are climbing. I've got a nice climb rate going. In fact, it's probably a little bit too much. And autopilot has taken over for me. Yes. Yes, I am from the USA. Yes, I am. I'm going to change my heading to 115. One sixteen is good. Oh, thank you so much, Iceman. That was uh that was pretty sweet. That was uh, pretty satisfying. Thank you for your help and for your support. Oh, you like the NBA? Nice. How long have you followed the NBA? And where's my weather selection? Oh, can I not adjust things now because I'm on a saved flight plan? Oh, your favorite team is the Jazz? Nice. That's pretty awesome. Um, 
yeah i can fly normal but I'm, I'm trying to change the weather though and i'm not seeing i'm not seeing where i can change the weather and that's just kind of weird to me so even here i can't even turn weather on But that's okay. I was just going to go to sunrise just so we'd have something to look at. Uh, besides, you know, water and clouds for the next little while. Ah, uh, so Rolton, my favorite team. You know what? I, I don't really, I don't follow basketball. Um... I don't know that much about basketball, to be honest with you. In fact, I'm not really a sports guy. I'm uh, I'm somewhat of a of a computer and game nerd. I'm sorry, but uh, years ago there was a team. So I, I live in South Carolina in the United States. Years ago there was a team in Charlotte, the Charlotte Hornets, and at the time. I was um, traveling to Charlotte a good bit for training with my job. And so I saw the Coliseum and stuff. So I guess if I had a favorite team, it would be from back then. And it would be the Charlotte Hornets. But other than that, yeah, I'm really not a, not a big NBA or really any professional sports. Except for racing. I love car racing. I am a big car racing fan, but not NASCAR. I like, uh, I like drag racing. Pull my throttle back a little bit. There we go. You know what, Rolton? I, I don't know. I am so sorry. I, I have no idea. Uh, I know you can, like, do bits and subs with um, with PayPal, but I, I'm not I'm not that sure. I am not sure. And I, I appreciate the thought, but uh, but please don't ever feel like you need to um, to subscribe or or donate bits. I just I appreciate people being here and uh, just you know having people in chat. No NASCAR. <laughs> Pathweave, what is going on, Pathweave? How are you? you give Pathweave a shout out. Yes, my plane has my name on it. Now check out Pathweave and enjoy this short clip of one of Path's streams. There we go. Pathweave was last seen playing Portal 2. Pathweave's, Pathweave was one of my first friends on Twitch. Oh, okay. So Cro Magnon, the flight plan for today. And oh, by the way, Pathweave, yes. I, I commissioned someone to, to make this for me. And I am absolutely in love with it. It's got the socks, my name and everything. Yeah, I'm in love with it. Beasley on Twitch, what's going on? How are you? Oh, your wife loves the game? Oh my gosh, I do too, Pathweave. I do too. Okay, I'm all over the place. Let's see here. The flight plan for today. Uh, let's see if I can... See, I don't remember my commands. Uh, let's see here. No way, Pathweave. Congratulations to her. I am jealous. I am jealous of that. So my final destination, uh, Crow Magnet, is is going to be um, Papa Hotel Tango Oscar in Hawaii. But let me show you, I think it would be better to show you in little nav map uh, what our plan is. 
so we started out today uh, right here. Uh, it's just a little remote island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And I, I landed there last night and took off from there today. We're going to fly to uh, PHFS, Papa Hotel Foxtrot Sierra. Kelly Digital, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Okay, Rolton, thank you so much for jumping in. Uh, I appreciate you being here. I look forward to seeing you on the next stream. Have a good night, friend. Thank you for following. I appreciate you. Uh, and Kelly Digital, welcome to the stream. Are you a flight simmer? If so, how long have you been streaming? I mean, how long have you been simming? Gosh, I'm sorry. All right, so the flight plan is to fly to uh, this small airport in the Pacific. We're going to refuel, and then we'll fly um, to this little island. We're just kind of island hopping. See you later, Rolton. Take care of yourself. We're island hopping in the Pacific, and then from there, we'll fly to this island, and then we'll start getting to the big Hawaiian islands. And once we get here, we'll kind of fly around the islands, do some sightseeing and stuff like that. But for now, I am thoroughly enjoying just being out here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, thinking about how awesome and how scary it would be to be stranded on one of these islands. Oh, you've been a flight simmer since 2017 or so. That is so awesome. I've been simming, flight simming for um, just under three months. Yeah, and Pathweave, I did, um, so back in 2004, no, was it 2000, no, 1994, 1994, I did some, I did one pilot's lesson, and I've been trying to find my logbook, and guess what I found yesterday? There's my pilot's logbook from 2000, excuse me, 1994. I did one flight lesson, got sick as a dog, I got really air sick. Uh, it was August 6th of 1994. I had six tenths of an hour in the air, um, got sick, and that was the end of my flight career. So once I, once I learned about flight sim, I was super stoked, but I am considering maybe starting back because I'm, I'm told, and my flight instructor then told me, I'm told that the more you fly, the more you get over the flight sickness. Pro Magnum went island hopping around the Marshall Islands a while back. Interesting to visit test sites, etc. Pro Magnon, dude, it was so amazing. Like last night, one of the islands that we stopped at was was this one. I didn't stop at it. I flew around it. So this island has a lake in the middle of it, and this place has a history. So I looked up the history of Laysan Island. Back in the 1800s, someone uh, that had a meat packing factory brought a bunch of rabbits and guinea pigs there to uh, help them multiply and then eat the grass, and then they would they could um, you know supply their meat packing factory with meat. Well, it turned out yes, they did multiply, and. Uh, they ate all the grass and ended up being a big horrid mess. So it's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, your wife took you up in the winter. Minus 15 degree weather and your feet froze. Holy crap, Path. Dang. Yeah, Crow Magnum, that's what I'm told. And I wish, I wish my flight instructor, who was a friend of the family, I wish he would have uh, been more push me a little bit harder i wish they'd push me a little bit harder yes yeah, so, so it's a mud ring with bunny skeletons there's a whole wikipedia about that island it was really really cool it's actually it's actually one of the hawaiian islands it's a uh i guess you could call it a suburb of of hawaii but even though it's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles away from the main islands but it is it is encircled by and it says on there a, like Honolulu um, County line or something like that, and then the outside circle is the United States uh, territory. So it's pretty cool. 
It's pretty cool. But yeah, it's a mud ring with bunny skeletons. <laughs> and guinea pig skeletons as well. Don't forget about the little guinea pigs. Because apparently eating guinea pig is a thing. I didn't I didn't realize that. And last night I had a viewer come in and they have actually eaten guinea pig before. But I just uh You know, I just think of guinea pigs as pets, not as food. Whoa, your first date was aerobatics in a Cessna? Nice. You both flew in the 80s. Oh, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty empath. I was laughing because I love that emote. Oh, now I've eaten alligator. Alligator's not all that bad. I was at a restaurant in Florida and had alligator tail and uh, I had escargot just so I could say I've had escargot. So I've eaten a snail before, but ugh, snail was, was pretty gross. Oh, Pat, that's, that, that is awesome, y'all, that your first dates were in the air. What? You must have really trusted whoever you went up with, right? They make the best pets better than guard dogs. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing you were PIC, but, you know, even if you weren't PIC, whoever the pilot in command was, I mean, if they're going to risk their life, risk your life, they're going to risk their own too. So maybe, maybe that is a good idea. <laughs> so I kind of wish I had followed through on the flight lessons back then it would have been it was a whole lot more economical then than it is now but that's okay <laughs> no that's fine oh, oh that's funny uh no 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 path you are good you're good i appreciate the joke <sighs> Oh, thank you. As soon as I started flight seeming, I fell in love with it and I and I, I had to get the controls. So here I am with all the stuff. There's still more I want to get. This is a uh this is an instrument. I want to get a couple more instruments, but dang this stuff's expensive, so I'm I'm kinda done with uh done with buying equipment for now. So out here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, there's not a whole lot to see. Uh, we're quite a ways from our next destination. That's okay. I just really enjoy you guys and, and uh, engaging with my audience. So so thank y'all for, for chatting. Have I tried remote flight yet? No, what is remote flight, Kelly? I don't think I've heard of that. I'm interested though. The Logitech instruments are about 200 pop. And you'll need six of them to set it all up. Oh yeah, yeah. So I bought one. This this is one of the Logitech instruments. Oh wow! Seriously, I've got. I've got a iPad that I'm not using right now. And so then I just connect to my computer through the, um, through the charge. Oh, wow. Dang. Okay. Let me make a note of this. All right. Let me, I'm going to email myself. This is how I remember things by emailing myself. And it's remote flight app. Uh, 
there. Thank you for that, Kelly. I appreciate it. Install remote flight app. Install remote flight app on the PC and voila, real tight of instruments. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Kelly. I don't allow um, I don't allow links in my chat just because of bots and stuff. I'm sorry. And I know you're not a bot. And I don't have a mod in here right now that can allow that. So if you'll just whisper me the link. Oh, psh, okay. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and go there on my phone. Remote. Flight. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, so then all it needs is an iPad stand. And uh, that that's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, and that's why I only have one instrument right now. Because getting all that stuff is expensive. You want cockpit HD, and if you have a second iPad, install radio HD, and then you have both instruments and a working radio stack. What? Okay, hang on. Because I just happen to have two iPads that only my grandkids use, and only when they're not here do I have the opportunity to use them for something else. So I've got two. I've got two iPads that, that I can use. All right, let me make some notes here. Remote flight. And cockpit HD. Perfect. Thank you so much. So Pathweave, how if you're still here, how long has your wife been a pilot? That's really cool. I didn't know that about y'all. You'll also have to install the FSU IPC library from Pete Townsend on the PC. Gotcha. Okay. Let me take a snapshot of that. There we go. She got her pilot's license before her drive. Whoa, really? Dude, that's awesome. She was in Air Cadets and got scholarships when she was young. Wow, Path, that's really, really cool. I did not know that about you guys. Oh, no doubt. My, uh, my wife is my better half, for sure. For sure. That's a pretty amazing path weave. All right, so I'll drag my little nav map over here. And uh, right now, this is where we took off from. This is our destination. So we are not quite halfway to our next little remote island in the middle of the Pacific. There are no other remote islands between us and here. Uh, so once we leave here, we'll fly over to this little island, then this little island, and then we'll uh, start hitting the mainland islands. So I'm pretty excited. You know, I, I, yesterday morning when I started when I started stream yesterday morning. I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do because I had just finished my coast to coast USA tour. I had flown from the East coast to the West coast and back to the East coast. Um, so I wasn't really sure what I wanted to start on next. And I said, Hey, you know what? I think I'll fly the Hawaiian mainland islands. And then I said, no, you know what? Let's, let's just fly, fly the Pacific and check out some of these remote islands. And I'm glad I did.
Turn on a little bit of holiday music while we're flying. Chat with each other. Have I tried face track? Face track, Garia? What? No. No, you're, you're teaching me all this stuff, Kelly. That sounds awesome. Is that where um, when I turn my head, it turns uh, the camera angle? Huh. I got to check that because I've got a I've got a flight sim friend that has one of the trackers. Um, track IR, I think it is. And those things are expensive, but hey, if I can do something free, then uh, I'm all for it. Yeah, let me take a snapshot of that. And I'll have to check it out. There, thank you for that. Teaching me all the stuff. Heck yeah. Yeah, track IR is super expensive. But hey, yeah, I'll take free any day. I, uh, I picked out some more songs. It's great because you can lean in and look down to get close to instrument panel. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, and that's what I need because that's why I bought it, this instrument. And that's why you'll see me. Wait a minute. You'll see me even, even when I zoom in, you'll see me lean in and look. So heck yeah, if I can use that, that'll be awesome. So Kelly, are you a streamer? Oh, it looks like Kelly is a streamer. No, you don't stream. Well, I'm giving you a follow anyways, and I will encourage you to stream sometime. Yeah, I encourage you to. You know, when I first joined Twitch, I had no intentions of streaming. But after meeting uh, several people, Pathweave being one of them, and hanging out in their streams, I decided that that's something I wanted to try. And I have thoroughly enjoyed the experience. Meeting new people and learning new things, it has really been amazing. And when I first started streaming... I was a variety streamer. I played a bunch of different things. Um, it was kind of wild and crazy and high energy, and I still like it that way, but it's hard to be high energy when you're flying a plane in the middle of the Pacific. But I still love to engage with my audience, but I've become somewhat of, over the last couple months, just a uh, flight sim streamer, and I'm okay with that. Also, uh, if anyone wants to fly along, you're welcome to fly along. I am flying US server east. And if you'd like to download the livery that, that I have on my plane now so you can see it as you're flying, uh, if you go to flightsim.to, search Scruffy Tam, you can actually download it. I've, I've uploaded it to flightsim.to. If you don't know what I'm talking about, oops. If I can spell, there, there's the link right there. So you can download my livery and uh, you don't have to put it on your plane, but as long as you have it in your community folder, if you're ever flying along with me or when, I'll say when, because I would love to have every one of y'all flying along with me. So when you fly along, you'll see my plane in game just as you see it on stream. Otherwise, it's just the, the basic, you know, livery on my plane.
yeah kelly thank you so much for those tips i'm definitely gonna have to check those things out so now all i need is just an ipad stand uh to be able to do that that's that is awesome and then shoot track ir that stuff is expensive so i'll have to check out that that uh that face cam thing too appreciate that and it, it'll work in more than just flight sim as well so that's pretty sweet see how i'm looking fuel wise because i forgot to refuel we're good okay we got enough fuel to make it to the next uh airport and then i'll need to refuel once we get there hey i'm gonna take a quick break uh refill my water and uh, y'all enjoy some christmas music and i'll be right back hang with me HD apps cost about 15 but totally worth it oh gosh yeah because I mean $15 is nothing compared to this this one instrument gauge was I think $140 maybe more I can't recall but it was pretty expensive and the thought of having to buy you know more to complete was <laughs> yeah it's a lot of money big investment so no thank you so much fifteen dollars compared to way more per instrument is much better there's a bundle for 30 bucks oh yeah that's probably what i'll do too kelly then i just need to find an uh a stand for the ipad which no big deal oh you gotta head out Nice meeting you too, Kelly. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything. I hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, morning, wherever you're at. Take care of yourself. And yeah, I hope to see you soon. Thank you for the, thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate you. so we're just cruising along here we are probably i don't know maybe halfway now no we're more than halfway to our next destination which is uh papa hotel foxtrot sierra airport on what island is this let's see here 
see if I can zoom in and see what island this is. The French Frigate Shoals Airport. It looks like there's several little tiny islands right here. And this one island has enough room uh, for an airstrip. So they put one on it. Uh, it is in, uh, in Hawaii, Honolulu County. County of Honolulu. It will be landing there. And I don't have an ETA f to land at that particular airport because I put my final destination in as um, Papa Hotel Tango Oscar, which I'm not sure which airport that is, but it's the last airport all the way on the end of the main islands. And so that flight plan has us uh, ending in six hours. So it's a six hour flight from where we're at to the end of the main Hawaiian Islands. So just kind of a, uh, <clears throat> a relaxing chill flight here. Once we land there at the next uh, airport, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna end this this particular flight because I um, to be able to take off from the island I was at, I had to save save my other flight. And for some reason, I can't change the weather. And I would love to have to be flying right now at sunrise or sunset. So we're 53 miles northwest of um, Papa Hotel Foxtrot Sierra Airport. So that's not too bad. Oh, and it looks like there's a couple airports uh, right here. So there's Turn I and then the French Frigate Shoals. And let's see here. The winds are blowing right at us, so that's good. So we'll run. We'll run. We will land. Uh, let's see here. Runway six. All right. Still got a little ways to go. And then, like I said, once we land there, um, I'll get out of the game just for a minute, go back in, and that way I can start with uh, Sunrise. I love the sunrises and the sunsets in this game. So we'll restart <clears throat> at Sunrise on uh, PHFS, I think it was the... Let's see here. Yeah, PHFS. We'll refuel and then uh, take back off and make our way to the next remote island here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean as we get closer to the mainland Hawaiian Islands. Nice, quiet, chill Saturday morning stream for everybody. 
10 10 a.m over here on the east coast of the united states oh by the way uh this little sticker right here this is an emote an emote sticker from the average kim who's a good streamer friend of our community or her and her husband the kung fu kangaroo are both streamers she was sending these emotes out for free to uh, viewers in celebration of her one year anniversary and i think it was 500 followers too something like that and so i requested a couple stickers and, and so i figured hey i'll give the average kim a shout out by putting her sticker on the side of my instrument All right, and it looks like we are, of course, we're getting closer, but maybe 40, 45 miles, um, nautical miles out from our destination for this leg of the flight. soon i'll be working on a stream schedule y'all i know i've been saying that for quite some time but i finally um will have some time off i've got a few weeks off for christmas break and then once our new semester because i'm an instructor at a community college once our new semester starts i already know what my schedule is going to be at school so i should be able to come up with a regular streaming schedule once again I know it's hard to know when to follow somebody or when to come watch somebody when you have no idea when they're going to stream and they just jump in sporadically like I do. So if I can post a regular streaming schedule on my Twitch channel and all my other socials, I know that'll help tremendously. Also, don't forget, if you want to fly along, you're welcome to fly along. I am U.S. Server East. And uh, if you take off from Papa Hotel Foxtrot Sierra at a heading of approximately 300, we will meet up. Or you can just wait there because it won't be long and I'll be there. Do I have my overlay on? Let's see. I have. I don't have some of my lights on. There we go. There. That should help with the green screen. Oh, you get most of your flight weekly flyers from the flight sim community calendar site oh what is uh what's the where is that at um ice man if you don't mind whispering that to me um also i got your whispers from yesterday ice man and i went ahead and, and loaded those in so i have loaded in the aircraft carriers and the cargo traffic thank you and yes and i appreciate you doing that and I appreciate you sending those to me. I don't understand why my overlay is not working. The Sim Toolkit overlay. just realized it isn't working and I don't understand why it's not working 
because I am connected to Twitch. Huh. Yeah, so y'all are supposed to be able to see all my um, flight information right here across the top of your screen. But for some reason, it's not displaying, and I don't know why that is. So let me try. Let me try something out here. Yeah, um, let me know if you ever see something like that. So let me see if I can load that in really quick. Uh, let's see here. Streaming. Control C. Surely I don't have to load this in after every stream. Control V. Huh. I guess it's just a glitch because I have just reloaded it and it's still not working. But I'm afraid to I'm afraid to turn Flight Sim Toolkit on and off because every time I do it disconnects me from the internet uh, momentarily. So I don't want to kick myself off stream. Yeah, I did that. I just I just reloaded it. So do I need to go to a browser and reload it? Let's see here. I can see it in the browser, so I wonder why it's not showing up here. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I've got the app running. And I can actually, when I go to that website, I can see my data. So I'm not sure why. Let's see here. Okay, so I just re I, I had to re add it. That's really strange. Why well, I had to add it as a browser source again, and now they're all jumbled up there. Okay. Now I got to figure out how to stretch it out. So they're not all jumbled up like they are right now. Let's see here. It won't let me stretch that window any at all. So yeah, I've just got to resize it. Let me go back to the, the toolkit. No, that's right. I, I have to do it in. Sheesh. I think it was 1,000 was the width I used. There we go. Good sheesh. I don't like fixing stuff live on stream, y'all. I am sorry for that. It's it's not engaging to do that, but uh, I wanted y'all to see my flight data. So there we go. I hope I don't have to do that after, you know, after each stream. That's that's kind of weird. But anyways, thank you, Iceman. I appreciate that. Now y'all can y'all now you can see my flight data which I like for everyone to see. All right, we are getting close. We are, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 miles, 25 miles out of our final destination for this leg. Now, once I land here, I'm gonna refuel. I'm gonna um, get out of this saved flight so that I can do, go back to sunrise or sunset And then we'll take off from uh, Papa Hotel Foxtrot Sierra onto our next little island out here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. As we tour, as we island hop out here in the middle of the Pacific. Pretty interesting stuff. Interesting. <clears throat> Final destination, eventually. Um, several hours from now will be 
the mainland islands of Hawaii. We'll fly around them, do some tours, maybe break out the drone. Fly around, check things out. If I had a, a stick controller, if I had a HOTAS, I would uh, break out a helicopter and fly it, but I've never flown a helicopter and uh, I don't really want to fly. I have, I have tried to fly it with a yoke. Totally didn't work out. So we'll just break out the uh, the drone camera and do some tours if y'all would like. The H145. One day, one day I'll get a Hotas and then I'll try. I'll try flying a helicopter. But for now, I've kind of given up on helicopter flight because it was next to impossible to do so uh, with a yoke. Really, really hard. For me, anyways, as a new flight simmer. So, uh, if you'd like to fly along, anybody, uh, feel free to. Just know that we're out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and there may not be fuel. Last night, I had to do a, uh, a, a air refueling. Logitech 3D Pro. Oh my gosh, seriously, for 30 bucks? See, and what I'm wanting to do, my next my next Twitch payout, I'm wanting to buy a uh, SSD drive uh, just for flight sim. So that way it'll load quicker and I won't be using up all the space on my other hard drive with this huge, huge game, which I'm not complaining there's a reason it's so big and that's because it's so freaking detailed and such a huge beautiful amazing game but it takes up a ton of space so i want to buy a dedicated ssd drive um for flight sim yeah yeah they're near indestructible and so that's what i'm looking for is something like that If, uh, and my motherboard does have a place for, I think it's an M, is it an M5 board or an M5 SSD or something like that? My motherboard's got room for it. However, I've got a huge uh, cooler for my uh, processor and it's in the way of that port where I can't plug up that, the M5 drive. So I'm just gonna get a, um, get an SSD drive that I can plug up to my motherboard and use it as a third drive on my PC. All right, we're out here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean doing some island hopping. Coming up on a small airport in the middle of the Pacific. The airport is PHFS Papa Hotel Foxtrot Sierra. Once we land there, we'll refuel and then we'll head a little bit. Um, well, almost, almost a direct east heading. To another tiny island that oh nice nice so after after we get here and we refuel we should be coming up on an island that will um, that's more volcanic looking that's actually got some altitude to it maybe so that looks looks pretty awesome so I'm, I'm I've been really excited about this whole flight series anyways. But now I'm really stoked that we're going to see um, some islands that have some peaks on them. Although it doesn't look really like a high peak, but at least it's more hilly than what we've been seeing. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. 
All right, looks like we're about 15 nautical miles out. Should be seeing it fairly soon, hopefully. Once I get a visual on the airport, I'll switch off autopilot and then we'll just fly straight in. It should be visible um, kind of in this direction. So I'll kind of have to turn to the left just a little bit, fly in. Jim Ferno, what's going on? How are you? Good morning to you, sir. I hope you are doing well, Jim. Doing a little flying in the Pacific. All right. My first SOC command of the day. So today, awesome, man. Glad to hear you're doing well. My socks of the day, on the right foot, I've got my Grinch socks. Yes, the Grinch is in. The Grinch is here. Got my Grinch sock on the right foot. On the left foot is what else to eat but tacos. Tacos on the left, Grinch on the right, and those, those are my socks of the day. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. There we go. Yes, all the tacos. I mean, wh what else is better than the Grinch and tacos, right? <laughs> Jim, I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, so if you weren't here yesterday or earlier today, uh, what I've been doing here is a kind of a flight tour of some of the Pacific islands. I wanted to fly the, the main Hawaiian islands, but I said, hey, that would, you know, that would be cool. But let's start uh, over here and fly some of the islands out in the Pacific Ocean. So we've been, we've really made some cool discoveries out here in the Pacific. So we just been island hopping and we're coming up now on an airport where I'm going to land and refuel right here. Uh, Papa Hotel, Fox Tart, Sierra. We'll refuel there and then we'll head slowly east as we, as we get to the Hawaiian Islands. And we've got somebody, I don't know if they're flying along with us, but there is somebody out here. only the second time I've seen another aircraft out here during the entire time I've been streaming this they are they're at okay so they must be landing at this airport that we're coming up on because they're descending uh, through 3,000 feet right now yeah, Jim Ferno, it's really freaking cool. Um, you know, I didn't know how engaging it was going to be to stream this because a lot of it is just the Pacific Ocean and the clouds. But it's been really fun discovering these little islands. Oh, thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. I had that had that custom made. And Jim, if you're interested in flying along, you're welcome to come fly along. Um, if not, that's cool too. But we made some really cool discoveries. Uh, we, we discovered an island that we call Pork Chop Island. We named it Pork Chop Island. Uh, then we discovered an island that's got a big lake in the middle of it. These are all really tiny islands. It's got a lake in the middle. I looked up the history of it. This, this island has a big history of poaching, and some meat packing plant um, owner brought a bunch of rabbits and guinea pigs there to um, to breed and hopefully you know supply meat to their packing plant and they ate all the vegetation and ended up dying out it's really really interesting history and then I attempted a landing on a really short island right at the end of stream last night i successfully did it after my second try then i took off from that same island anyways it's been really fun it's been been a, been a lot of fun 
So I don't think this person's flying along with us. They're in an F-18 and they're at 10,000 feet. Could be. They could be part of our community, but not 100% sure. All right. We should be seeing the airport soon over in this direction. We are about 10 nautical miles away. Once I get a visual on it, I'll switch out of autopilot and uh, switch into the cockpit <clears throat> to land there and refuel. Hopefully they have fuel here. If not, I'll have to do the uh, refueling like I did in the air last night when I almost ran out of fuel. Just an in-air refueling. Totally realistic, right? To be able to uh, refuel in the air in a, in a 172 Cessna. That's totally realistic. Jim Ferno is flying along. Heck yeah, Jim. I thought I saw somebody fly over me. Thank you for flying along. And you're also in a Cessna 172. Thank you for the fly along. I appreciate that. It makes things, gives another level of engagement for me and for you. So thank you for flying along. Warming up the old avionics? Heck yeah. I appreciate you jumping in. All right, and we are just a few miles, maybe five nautical miles. Hey, Broccoli, what is going on, Broccoli? How are you? <clears throat> hey, dude, I thought that was pretty awesome um, that we kind of double rated back to back. Um, Cargo Fire, I think their name was. That was pretty awesome. How are you doing, Broccoli? Really good to see you this morning. Um, Rick Tan, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. How are you today? Good to see you this morning. How's things going? I've seen you in some flight streams. Oh, cool, Broccoli. I thought that might have been what happened because when I saw that you raided right behind me, I was thinking, does Broccoli follow this flight streamer? I mean, this flight sim streamer? And then I got to thinking maybe that you were going to raid me, but then when I raided them. So cool, dude. That was really awesome. I thought that was pretty cool. That, that guy is well deserving of it. I, I really enjoy it. Um, their streams. All right, we're coming up on the airport. I'm going to go ahead and take manual control. Oh, thank you, Rington. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've uh, I've got quite an investment in in my streaming setup, but hey, it's it's very worth it. Yeah, Broccoli, that's a new friend. I raided them last week, I think it was. All right, I'm going to go to cockpit view and let's see if we can find this little airport. I think this is, yeah, so this is the airport right here. So I'm going to knock autopilot off and let's go ahead and head over that direction. This should be our airport anyways. Once we land, I'm going to refuel and then we'll continue our um, island hopping across the Pacific Ocean. 
So if you're just joining, what I've been doing yesterday morning, <clears throat> excuse me, during yesterday morning stream, I thought it would be a good idea to fly to the Hawaiian Islands. And then I thought it would be an even better idea to kind of fly all the, oh, not all the islands, but a lot of the islands in the Pacific. Little did I know that what I thought was going to be about a four hour flight ended up being an 11 hour commitment but i have really really enjoyed it we've discovered a lot of really cool places a lot of really small islands and it looks like this is one also this this island is just it looks to me like it's just big enough for an airport period <laughs> I mean, not even an airport, just an airstrip. And I landed on one of the little islands, little remote islands last night. Um, thanks to a viewer who's a pilot in real life that really helped me. navigate into the island like I, I my wheels hit the beach as I was flying in it was such a short island and a really 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 short area to land kind of similar to what we're seeing right now but anyways really really cool so um broccoli how is Pokemon coming along dude Slow down just a little bit more. Hopefully I'll stick this landing. Um, yesterday's island landing really, really gave me a lot of confidence. Here we go. Yeah, I know broccoli. It's uh it's really crazy these um There we go. Dude, that was a really really nice landing. It looks like there is no fuel here, but that's okay. Um I will I will refuel anyways. Um it's slow. You're so far behind. You've been sick all week. Oh, dude, man, I'm sorry to hear that you've been sick all week. Hang on just a minute. I'm going to I'm going to um, taxi up to the end of this runway really quick. We got someone over there on the right flying an F-18. Thank you, Broccoli. Last night really, really helped my um, confidence in landing. That's probably the best landing I've ever done. Uh, right there. All right, so I'm gonna get to the end of the runway, then I'm gonna circle around. Uh, we do have Jim Ferno flying along with us. Uh, one of our viewers, Jim Ferno, was right behind me. I don't know if they landed here or not. Let's see, is Jim here? Jim, are you still flying along with us? There we go. Okay, stop. All right. I don't see Jim anymore. Oh, yeah, you are. Cool. Cool, cool. Good deal. All right, so what I'm going to do is... Um, let's see here. I'm going to... Go back to the main menu jim i'll be i'm just exiting out because i was in a, a saved flight plan and because of that i couldn't change the weather so i'm gonna jump right back in i'm gonna respawn right back into that airport 
right now. So Papa Hotel Foxtrot Sierra. We'll set it as departure. Oh, Jim Furno's on the ground. Okay, I see you now. And fly, I'm gonna go ahead and refuel. And then we'll take back off and I'll show you uh, where we'll be, <clears throat> excuse me. I'll show you where we'll be heading next. We're gonna be heading to another remote island. In the meantime, while well, the game's loading, let me show y'all where we have been. So uh, my, my initial thought was just to fly the Hawaiian mainland, you know, the main islands. But then once I got the look and I said, hey, you know, it'd be pretty cool just to kind of island hop. Check, let's let's do a tour of the Pacific and check out some islands. And when I built this flight plan in Sim Toolkit, it only showed from here, from Midway um, Wildlife Refuge to um, this island. It was showing it taking about four hours. I said, hey, that's cool. Four hours, not bad. I can do that in one stream. Once I started flying it, the ETA was 11 hours. But I, I'm, I said, I'm going to stick with it. So we've just been checking out some islands along the way. So this island, uh, the Kung Fu Kangaroo dubbed it Pork Chop Island. We have named this one Pork Chop Island. It does not have a name, but it does now. Then our next island that we checked out was this one. This one was pretty cool. Uh, this is the one. No, no, no. This isn't. This isn't the one. Um, this was another island that uh, that we went to. This island was pretty cool. It's got a lake in the middle of it. And I checked, and this this island's got some pretty cool history to it. And then this is a reef. We flew over a reef um, to this island where I landed. I landed and, and started. I ended stream last night on this little island. And then I started stream today on this island. And now here we are. Here we are right here. So next island will be uh, right here. So this is going to be a heading of 80, 85, 90 about 93 a heading of 93 all right so that's a that's a little tour of where we have been and we're loaded in let me go ahead and get my um my autopilot ready so i've got that on i'm gonna set my altitude at a thousand a, a thousand's a nice little cruising altitude for flying over the pacific in case you ever wanted to know 93 is going to be my heading all right turn uh turn heading select on and then i want my my climb rate FLC mode. So why is it not letting me select? Oh, there we go. It is selecting it. So I'm going to have my climb rate be at 75. 74. There we go. Okay. So everything's set for autopilot. Once we get in the air, um, I should just be able to hit it and the plane will fly itself. And that way I can engage with you guys. Okay. Should be all set. Let me... Uh, parking brake is now off. All right, we are clear for takeoff. Let me uh, talk to my passengers really quick. Good day, passengers. This is your pilot, Scruffy of Scruffy Tam Airlines. Uh, welcome aboard our flight tour of the Pacific Ocean. We are taking off from a little airport in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on our way to the mainland islands of Hawaii. Our next stop is gonna be a little tiny island um, that we may just overfly on our way to the tour of the mainland islands of Hawaii. I hope you enjoy your flight. Turbulence is not bad at all, so I'm gonna leave the, uh, uh, once we get to our cruising altitude of 1,000 feet, I'll turn the seatbelt 
sign off. Feel free to get up and move around the cabin at that point. If you have any questions, ask your flight attendants, and they'll be along with complimentary snacks momentarily. Thank you, and then thank you for flying Scruffy Tan Airlines. Enjoy your flight. Okay. Let's go. Pull up, 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 scruff. There we go. All right, we don't need to stall. Oh, Lord. We don't need to end up in the ocean either. Oh, Lord, autopilot's going to put us in the ocean. There we go. I hit autopilot a little too soon in that bank. Uh, almost, almost had our wing touching the water. The, it's the way it looked, anyways. There's Jim Ferno. Jim Ferno's in the air, also. Watch out for that tree. <laughs> Heck yes, there we go. And we're in the air. We're safe, safely in the air. Not the best takeoff, but hey, it worked. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I may have to do a command of that. All right, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Um, I'll be right back in like two minutes. Give me just a minute. Get rid of some water. Refill my water. I've been drinking water in coffee. So I've got to get rid of some of that. There goes, there's Jim Ferno right there. Also flying a Cessna 172. All right, y'all stick with me. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. The plane's still flying, that's a good thing. 
so now we're heading to our next little island destination out here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean I am going to change the time now I should be able to change yeah there we go I'm going to go to let's see what real time is yeah it's still dark but I'm going to go to sunrise there we go <clears throat> get to see the sunrise they're always beautiful out here in the Pacific and it looks like we are about mm, I don't know 100 miles out of our next next island destination and let's see if this island has a name I think it did yes yes this island does have a name it's um Oh, this is pretty interesting actually. So let me let me drag this over and share it with you guys. Um so our next destination is going to be this. Um it's got several hills. It's got a cape, Shark Bay, West Cove, Moohead. Interesting stuff. I'll have to research this. And here's Jim Ferno. Jim Ferno flying right here alongside me. I'm going to let me turn this turn the sun up just a little bit there we go now we can see Jim a little bit better get a screenshot yeah fly up close Jim I am I am fine with that I love flying in tight formations um, don't be don't be don't be afraid to I'm perfectly cool with that I'm gonna back the what the time up just a touch more there we go I love watching the sunrise yeah I'm really excited about seeing this next island that we're flying up on um, it doesn't look like there's an airport it may not be flat enough to land on but maybe we'll do a flyover of it kind of check it out if it is flat enough to land on, I may try to land on it. We shall see. We shall see. There's me and Jim Ferno flying along here. Flying into the sunrise. I love the fact that you can do screenshots like that and they those uh screenshots are pretty high resolution as well Maybe once the sun comes up, I may try to do a water touch. Just see if I can just kind of touch the water and then pull back up. You know, I, I may not do that because uh, I don't want to crash into the Pacific and cause any problems. Let's see here. This looks really cool. No problem, Broccoli. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Scotland Speedbird, what is going on? Good evening to you, sir. I hope you are well, friend. Good to see you. Welcome to my uh, welcome to my stream again. If you'd like to fly along with us, um, you are more than welcome to fly along. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are flying the Pacific Ocean. And we just took off a little while ago from Papa Hotel Foxtrot Sierra, PHFS. 
in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Oh, Jim's been fixing the trim. Okay, yeah, no, no worries, friend. I'm just letting autopilot do everything for me right now. Uh, but no, that made for some good shots. The Scotland Speedbird, how has your day been? <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. My day is really just getting started. I was up until a little bit past midnight last night between stream and then winding down after stream. Then I got up at uh, right, right before eight o'clock this morning. Okay, yeah, cool. That'd be awesome, Scotland Speedbird. I'll be streaming for probably another hour and a half. And then I'll wrap things up after about an hour and a half. Uh, when the wife gets off work, um, she's got some stuff she wants me to do with her. Yeah, man, that'd, that'd be great. Please, please join as soon as you can. Sounds good. All right, looks like we're about, I don't know, 50, 60 miles, nautical miles away from our next little destination. Broccoli, I don't know if I said it. Thank you for the lurk, and uh, I appreciate you giving, wishing me a safe flight. Thank you. Broccoli is also, man, I, I forgot to shout Broccoli out. I'm such a horrible person. Let me give Broccoli a shout out. Enjoy this clip from one of Broccoli streams. I do need to turn the sound up on these shout outs. And there's a clip from one of Broccoli streams. Uh, I, I met Broccoli through Animal Crossing and through another streamer's channel who was uh, streaming Animal Crossing at the time. Broccoli's a really awesome streamer, has been playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Um, Jim Ferno, remind me, are you a streamer? And Speedbird, are you a streamer? Uh, love to shout out all my streamer friends on my channel. So please let me know if you're a streamer. Uh, if you are, you deserve a shout out just for being here. It's my pleasure to give everyone shout outs. <clears throat> all right, Scotland is not a streamer. I can't remember about Jim Ferno. Yeah, it looks like Jim Ferno, Jim Ferno is a streamer. It's been a little while since they've streamed. Let me go ahead and give Jim Ferno a quick little shout out. Recorded. Oh, you're welcome, Jim Ferno. I try to remember who my streamer uh, friends are in the community and <laughs> don't always remember. That's amazing. So there was a short clip from one of Jim Ferno's streams. You're very welcome, sir. morning stream is really quiet 
as we fly some islands in the Pacific waiting on the sun to rise this should be a pretty epic sunrise hopefully hopefully I love sunrises so we'll see see how this looks maybe we'll get some really red skies Oh, by the way, uh, the livery on my plane, I did upload that to flightsim.to. So if you'd like to get it, not to, not to, um, and you're welcome to fly it, but if you'd like it, just so when you're flying along with me, you can see my plane with the livery on it. If you go to flightsim.to, search Scruffy Tam, and you'll see it, and you can download it and put it in your community folder. Again, not, not necessarily that you, so you, so you can fly it. Uh, but that way you can see it in game. Oh, cool, Jim. Iceman, you gotta go? All right, see you later, Iceman. Take care of yourself. Have a great day. Uh, be safe. See you soon. Yeah, I did that. Um, I had no intentions of doing that, but then someone told me... Hey, Bam, what is going on, Bam? Good to see you, friend. You want to stop in and say hi. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Be safe this evening. Take care of yourself. I appreciate you. Why did... Oh, my gosh. Bam, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I don't know why. Oh, it's because of the dot. Oh, my gosh. That, that is crazy. Sorry about that. The uh, the Twitch Autobot has become uh, so... Yeah, it was only a one second timeout, thankfully, but it did delete your messages, so I don't know what you said. I saw the first one. But it's become really sensitive because of the hate raids and stuff like that. So unfortunately, Twitch had to make it more sensitive. I am doing fantastic, Bam. Doing really, really well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Things are good here. We just finished up classes yesterday. Oh, you had a dot between Mr. and Aviator. Well, yep. Yeah. Thought, thought you were posting a link. Mr. Dot Aviator. Go to Mr. Dot Aviator dot com. <laughs> right. Uh, I've, I've been doing really, really well. Thank you so much. I finished up classes yesterday, so I've got some time now to get back into a regular streaming routine. Yep. That's right. You gotta add a spacer. It thinks it's a link. All right, Ice Man. Take care of yourself, brother. Good to see you always. Uh, today we do have Jim Ferno flying along, and I think Scotland Speedbird is gonna join momentarily as well. Let me jump into my aircraft and turn off. There. Didn't realize I had my landing lights on until just then. There we go. So got myself and Jim Ferno flying along here. Uh-oh, my wife just texted me. Wife's just telling me to be ready when she gets off work, but I was already ready for that. Are you doing all right? Just want to head out and drink now. <laughs> oh, yeah, bam. I totally get it. I, I really do. If it wasn't for me just loving... If it wasn't for me just loving uh, flight, and I do, I love flight, then, yeah, I get that it's... That it can be boring. I get that it can be boring, but... um. I hope that to most people, just me engaging with with you as a viewer helps with the um, 
you know just kind of chilling here flying but yeah it's cool it's not for everybody bam Uh, let's see here. Text him my wife. Sorry. So I totally get that it doesn't doesn't appeal to everybody, um, but I think once you once you fly once or twice, um, I, I'm I'm addicted. Anyways, can you see whales and stuff breaking the surface of the water? Because that would be a cool feature, and you could have like an aircraft safari. I, not that I know of. However, however, one person, uh, I think it was Shoney Gaming, I was in their stream and they were rhinos or hippopotam hippopotamuses on the ground or hippopotami on the ground and they were able to disturb them. Uh, so what I'm doing, I'm doing a discovery flight where um, I, I realize it's kind of boring because a lot of it is just flying over the Pacific Ocean, but we're we're on the Pacific Ocean and we're hopping from one um, uninhabited island to the next. Uh, U.S. East. U.S. East, Scotland. Oh, thank you, Bam. I appreciate that. And our final destination, my, my intent was to fly the Hawaiian Islands and kind of do a tour of the Hawaiian Islands. But then I thought it would be pretty cool just to check out some of these deserted islands. Uninhabited islands out in the middle of the Pacific. And it's really, really been cool. Oh yeah, no problem. Whoa, check out this sunrise, y'all. You can see the sun. The, uh, the clouds are kind of filtering the rays from the sun so you can actually see the sun. That's really cool. Got Jim Ferno flying along with us this morning. Another really um, interactive feature about this game, Bam, is other viewers can fly along with you. Oh, nearest the airport is Papa Hotel Foxtrot Sierra. Papa Hotel Foxtrot Sierra, PHFS. And you are about 50... 50 nautical miles away um do a heading of 92 a heading of 92 will take you right to me but you're about 50 nautical miles away oh y'all check out this sunrise oh my gosh This is beautiful. Get a couple screenshots. So Scotland should, well, Scotland should be joining us shortly. Anyone else that wants to fly along is welcome to. Also, if you'd like to load in my uh, livery into your community folder so you can see my plane in game as you see it on stream, if you go to flightsim.to, search Scruffy Tam, and you can download it. You can also just type in uh, livery in chat and it'll uh, post the link for you. Getting set up, no problem, Scotland. Look forward to you flying along with us. Oh, dude, it's it is really amazing. This this sunrise is oh, really cool. Check out the sun's reflection on the water. Yeah, yeah, uh, this game is really amazing. It's an amazingly large game, but the detail, because <clears throat> this is live weather, th this is supposed to be the weather that's going on right now where I'm flying in, in the world. This is the weather that's supposed to be going on right now. Now I did change the time because it's currently dark um, in this, this side of the Pacific Ocean. So I didn't want to fly in the dark. 
But other than that, this is the weather that they're getting right now. Scotland. Scotland still has not loaded in quite yet. Man, this is beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Fun fact, World of Warcraft, the different zones had similar weather to different places around Europe with sun, rain, cloudy. Was oh, really? Well, I did I had no idea. I didn't realize that. So like if I if I go to if I go here and I and I go to real time right now it's 4:10 a.m. where I'm at currently so it's close to sunrise but it's not there yet so I'm gonna go back to uh, back to where I was right here so it won't be long that I'll be able to switch to live weather and we'll get another we'll get the real life sunset. I mean, sunrise that they're getting right now. Or an hour from now. No, that's right. Yeah, because <laughs> if you think this isn't really engaging or, or isn't, if you think this isn't um, exciting, flying in the dark where you can't see anything especially when there's no city lights or anything that's super oh gosh yeah I, I would not do that to my viewers but I love flying in flight so much that I could do it off stream I could totally fly at night just because I love the sound of the plane and being, um, I could, I could switch to the inside. Oops. I could switch to the inside and just watch the instruments and stuff. So yeah, I, I love flights and flying. Kid Knives. Hey, Kid Knives. How are you? Give Kid Knives a shout out. I hope you're doing well, friend. Enjoy this short clip of one of Kid Knives streams. Okay, no problem, Kid Knives. You're welcome for the shout out and thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. Yeah, so we can do um, cockpit view. So it looks like we're actually in the airplane flying. So this is a more realistic view because of course in real life, you're not doing this while you're flying a plane or even if you're in a plane, you're not outside the plane. Uh, your mate flew over your dad's house in this game. Oh dude, yeah, I flew over my own house. Uh, I did, I started out this game and this stream. There we go. There's Fly Caledonia. That is uh, Speedbird coming up with us. I started out um, with a coast to coast tour of the United States. Started East Coast, flew to the West Coast and back. I finished that, I don't know, the other day, Friday, I think it was, yesterday. I finished that up. And uh, the final airport was actually the airport that's a mile from my house. And so um, I didn't tell anyone, but I flew over my house and saw it. You're gonna load up the G1000 for autopilot? Yeah, no doubt, Jim Ferno. Go ahead. I, I probably use autopilot way more than I should, but it's nice when you're streaming and you wanna focus on your chat just to let the game do its own, you know, let the plane do its own thing. So yeah, go ahead, load it up. We're about 35 miles from our next uh, waypoint, which is a um, an island that looks like it'd be a pretty cool destination to check out in real life. It's got a cove that they call Shark Cove. 
All right, Jim Frodo has Jim Frodo has dropped out just for a minute as they load up the uh, the same aircraft that I'm flying, which is a Cessna 172 with the G1000 uh, nav navigational unit. ETA. Um, bah, bah, bah. let's see here, Bam. ETA is probably going to be. Oh, I don't know. Maybe 20 minutes. Oh, you know where I'm heading now? So have you heard of that before? Yeah, so I can pull it over now that the sunrise has kind of done its thing. Uh, this is where I'm heading. And the, the, the island itself is kind of shaped like a shark, I guess, or a dolphin. And I don't know what the name of this area is called, but yeah, it's got a bay called Shark Bay, West Cove. It's got some hills. So I'm really excited to fly over this and see what it looks like. Good Knives has their earbuds in. Awesome. So you can, you can hear better now. So we're about um, 30 nautical miles out. This is us, and this is uh, where we're headed. Oh my gosh, wow. I thought the sunrise had done its thing. This is amazing. Let's see if I can get a screenshot of this. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Scotland, do I need to do I need to slow down a little bit? Let you catch up? Or are you good? Just let me know. Um, I can I can definitely slow down. Right now I'm flying at 118 knots. If you need time, holy crap. If you need time to catch up, um, I'll be glad to, glad to accommodate that. Oh my gosh. This sunrise is amazing. Look how it's, it's like highlighting my logo. Let's see if I can do, no, nah, it's not showing my name on that view. This is what I love about this sim. Is these views are incredible. Yes, yes, you can. So there's a lot of different aircraft that come with the with it. Um, I don't know how many because I've only flown four of the many aircraft that come with it. But then you can purchase other aircraft. I've actually got a Lego X-Wing fighter that doesn't fly worth a flip okay so you're good you're in the Newport 17 speed 95 knots so I'm pulling away from you then so let me slow down a little bit because if you're at 95 knots I'm at 118 I'm pulling away from you um there's helicopters so some is paid stuff some is free you just have to know where to go to to get it you can do different um one thing I've learned is I thought I thought this was just like a paint job. That's what I would call it is a, is a paint job or a paint scheme. Aircraft, this is called a livery. So the, the paint color and the logos and stuff, they call this a livery. Excuse me, livery, a livery. I keep on saying livery, but it's a livery. So you can do different liveries. You can paint it up like American Airlines or United or, you know, all the different aircraft companies, UPS, uh, FedEx, stuff like that. So it's, it's an extremely engaging. No, no, it's aircraft too. Aircraft is, is calculated in knots. So I'm at 98 knots currently.
and we are 25 nautical miles away from the island that I'm super stoked to see. And then after this island, there I think there's one or two more little tiny... There's only one more tiny island before we reach the mainland of Hawaii. And we're probably not going to be able to make it there today. Um, Pot... Wow, that's a long name. Pot de Buri de Peanut. Um, I am not a pilot in real life. I would love to be. I have taken one pilot's lesson in 1994 and I got really air sick, so I gave it up. But yeah, I am a teacher in real life. I teach auto, auto mechanics, teach people how to fix cars. But I would love to be a pilot and I'm considering starting pilot's lessons again. That's how much this game has affected me or how much this sim has affected me. But how about you? Um, can I call you Peanut? Is that okay? Or is there another name that you'd rather go by, Pot? Pot de Pure is a Peanut. So I am not a peanut is fine. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Cause I was really struggling with the rest of that name. Uh, but thank you. That's very kind of you to, to let me call you a name other than your, your name. So we, we do have Scotland Speedbird flying along with us. That's fly Caledonia and uh, Jim Ferno was flying along with us, but they're loading in the same aircraft that I'm flying. Oh man, took a pilot license at 18. See, I was, um, I was 21, I think, when I took my first pilot's lesson. And like I said, I just got air sick. Like I threw up in the plane. Well, actually outside the plane. It was not a pretty sight. And the flight instructor told me, and I wish I would have listened, that I would get used to it. I was actually born in 78, so I was younger. I guess I was a little bit older than that. I was born in 68. Did I say 78? I was born in 68. So I'm 53. I'm 53 years old. Yeah, that's right. So I was probably 20 because it was it was the day before Tam the OG turned one when I took my first pilot's lesson. <laughs> when you're older than your dad, do I feel old yet? Not really. I mean, I really don't. I'm young at heart is what is what we say. So Peanut, are you are, are you a pilot in real life? And are you a flight simmer? I assume you are. If you are a flight simmer, how long have you been simming for? Oh, you're 29. Cool. My daughter is 29. Uh, Tam the OG, she's a streamer. Tam the OG is a streamer as well. Doesn't get to stream very often. Uh, she has went back to work and she's got two kids. So they keep her in a husband. So uh, they keep her busy. But she's a streamer as well. Nice. Turning 29 in 26 days. I have six months, well, about seven months, and I'll be 54. Nice, congratulations, Peanut. That takes a huge commitment uh, to be the to get the commercial part. It's like, isn't it 150 hours? Don't you have to have 100, or is it more than that? So I've been this week, I've kind of committed to trying to decide if I want to go for my uh, PPL. And I know it's a minimum of 40 hours flying time for the privates. And I, I want to say it was 150 for commercial or maybe it was 450. It's a huge commitment, dude. That's, that's really awesome. Really awesome. Congratulations.
all right we are coming up on this island where it looks like about 20 miles 20 nautical miles out it should be directly in front of us So, Peanut, once you get your 75 days and you'll be 30. Dang, everyone's the same age in here except me. So, um, I'll just be your fathers. You've been flying 150s, 172s, Piper 180, seaplane. What? Seaplane qualification night, getting multi and IFR in spring. Kind of ran out of money. Dude, Peanut, yeah, you've got a huge investment there. Lima Kilo Mike, what is going on? Another 29 year old, what? Lima Kilo Mike, welcome. How are you, friend? Yeah, you're right, you only live once, exactly. I don't wanna live my life wondering. Oh, thank you for the follow, Peanut. I appreciate it, Jim Furnos, 31. I'm a 50 year old in the midst of 20 year olds. I'm just picking. No, I, I love you guys. Um. So Peanut, once you get your commercial rating, what are, what are your plans? Like, what do you want to do commercially? I'm gonna ask that and then I'm gonna step away to the restroom really quick. I'll be back in like two minutes, y'all. Stick with me. Be right back. Enjoy some Christmas music. I might want to do that before we reach this island. Um, I've been drinking a bunch of water and coffee this morning, so uh, several pee breaks during my stream. Squid, what's going on, Squid? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the lurk. And let me give you a shout out. Squidness is a really good friend, um, a friend of the community, an amazing streamer, really fun stuff. Enjoy this short clip of one of Squid's streams. It's like playing Phasmo, maybe. So that's one of one of Squidness's streams there. Be sure to go follow Squid for a fun time. You're welcome for the shout out, Squid. No, you're too kind. You are too kind. <laughs> of course you die into a ghost. Yes. Enjoy your day at work. All right, let's see here. Um, you really wanted to be an airline pilot, but a lot of bush lately. Did some camping next to the place and you really loved it. Being alone where no one can be absolute silence felt awesome. Wow, that sounds really awesome, Peanut. Uh, Peanut, are you are you looking to do like I don't know, flying tours uh, with your commercial license, or is it just an accomplishment you wanted to get? Because I totally understand that as well. But now, being an airline pilot, that really takes an even bigger commitment because I think you you have to have a college degree. <clears throat> and all that and i'll tell you if i was a, uh, if i had my ppl and i had the money i would totally do what i'm doing right now i would totally fly these pacific islands the only thing that i'd be scared of is that i land on one of these really small islands and um then like a rogue wave comes and it covers up the island and i can't take off and then i just die that was really morbid, but that would be my fear. That like a tsunami would hit and wash me away. Dwarven Egg, what is going on, Dwarven Egg? How are you? 
Um, Y'all, Dwarven Egg is a new member of our community as of last night. They are an amazing streamer. Enjoy this short clip. Uh, Dwarven Egg is who really um, helped boost my confidence in landing last night. I actually landed on a very, very small remote runway thanks to them. That was a super old clip. Um, and Dwarven Egg, by the way, I also uh, I took off. My takeoff was pretty impressive as well. I crashed the first time I tried to take off, but the second time I did it. Get the floaties at the bottom and land on the water instead of the island. No problem taking off. There you go, bam. But yeah, there's some really, really cool remote islands out here in the middle of the Pacific. And, and you want to talk about just quiet, beauty, and stuff like that. That would be amazing. Oh yeah, Peanut. Um... I am. I'm a super. I'm super level-headed. It doesn't take much to. I mean, it does. It takes a. What I mean, it takes a lot to to really get me upset about anything. Hey, well, we got people flying along with us. There's Fly Caledonia, Jim Ferno, and who was that? I missed it. Lima Kilo Mike. Heck yeah, we got some people flying along today. Ride the tsunami. Heck yes, that'd be a heck of a start. Um. So I don't know if I mentioned it, Peanut. I am an instructor. Yeah, I did mention it. You, you asked and someone mentioned. So yeah, I really enjoy what I do. I've been an instructor for four years. Prior to that, I managed to shop for 14 years. And then prior to that, I was a mechanic for 14 years. Yeah, I, um, what I did, I pulled too hard back. I pulled back too hard the first time, Dwarven Egg, and I stalled. And I tried to pull out of the stall, but it was too late, and uh, I, I, I crashed into the ocean. And then the second time, I nailed it. Hey, Lima Kilo Mike doing an inverted fly over here. We get a screenshot of this. Oh, no, you disappeared. Crap. That would have been an amazing screenshot and then you disappeared. I actually went full flaps. Um, and I think that's what hurt me the first time was I was at full flaps. And so then when I started pulling back, um, when I when I went to when I took flaps off, they didn't retract quick enough and so I stalled. And I was pulling it I was pulling back a little hard too. Comes Lima Kilo Knight, uh, Mike, for another inverted flyover. <laughs> I have done that before, Bam. Don't feel bad. I have done that. Nice. Good stuff here. Good stuff here. On the next takeoff, I can practice it. Yes, yes, I can. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to take off um, or, or even land on this next island. It looks like it's going to be a pretty hilly island. There we go. Black Caledonia is coming up on us too. Heck yeah. Lima Kilo Mike putting on an air show for us. Okay, I think I see... I think I see the, the island up here. I see land. Yeah, it's pretty funny. that There was uh, some game that I was watching a stream or stream, and I kept on trying to click, like this menu, I kept on trying to click it away to get it off. And then I realized, no, that's not on my end. It's on their end. Jim Ferno, our scout. Jim Ferno is scouting our land, our discovery land for us. And they have confirmed there is land ahead. Land ho! You 
I told your dad first time he came up with me while in the air, I said, Dad, hold the brakes to help us slow down. You can help me on serious like after a minute. And he was upset of being this dumb for a minute. Oh, that's hilarious, Peanut. And that is totally something I would do. I would totally do something like that too. I'm a huge joke. I, I love doing pranks. Oh, nice. Your stepfather is a Cessna pilot and he built the plane from the ground up. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, Bam. Bam is committed to see the island. Thank you, Bam. Bam's ready to go out drinking with his friends, but uh, wants to see this island first. So I'm going to make a detour. I'm going to make a detour around the island. We won't see it for another half hour. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so we got Scotland's Speedbird back there. We got Jim Ferno and Lima Kilo Mike up front. And I can see the island now. Worst thing is you would stay 100%. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I can't imagine building my own airplane. And, and would I have confidence in myself to build it and make sure everything was tight? Yes, because I train my students to make sure everything's done right the first time and tight and all that and double check behind yourself. And, and my training was that. But uh, wow, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. Oh, he's an airplane mechanic. I've got an uncle who did that and he encouraged me when I was younger to join the Air Force and become an airplane mechanic. But I, I just I wanted to work on cars. And so that's what I did. But that's pretty awesome. Some good money in air, airline mechanics. All right, I'm going to take manual control. I've got autopilot on right now. I'm going to knock it off and we'll uh, do a flyby of this island. Let's check it out. One of your mates flies the Airbus A400M for the military here in Sweden. Dude, that's, that's really cool. What is my ETA? Um, Peanut, so what I did, I built, I built this flight plan to fly all the way to the other end of the Hawaiian Islands. And so my flight plan, <laughs> my flight plan, actually my ETA is five hours and 45 minutes. I won't be flying that long today. Um, I'm going to be streaming for probably another probably not even an hour, maybe 45 more minutes. And then the wife's going to be home from work and she wants to go do th some things. But yeah, I fly autopilot a lot on stream so that I can engage with uh, my audience and uh, not so much, you know, be staring at the, at the, at the, uh, at the game. All right. Autopilot's off. Okay, so Lima Kilo Mike, it looks like Lima Kilo Mike has landed. So it is possible to land here. I'm going to do a flyby. That's true. If I get it trimmed in decently, you're, you're right. You're right. So it is possible to land here. He flies the TP-84 Hercules, which is massive as well. Dang. Okay, so it does have some altitude to it, but it looks relatively flat um, right here. It looks like a perfect landing area, just like Lima Kilo Mike has landed there. So I'm going to land here and we'll check out Shark Bay. Oh, dude, yeah, I've got that landing easy. After the landing I made last night, I've got it. So I'm going to go back to cockpit view. Get this thing lined up. Yeah, so Dwarven Egg is who really guided me in. Uh, thank you, Dwarven Egg. I appreciate it. Well, the confidence because of your helping boost my confidence in yesterday evening's stream. Uh, landing on that island, I never would have attempted it without your help. And 
and you're telling me that you knew I could do it. So we're gonna we're gonna do it. Alright, where's the island at? There we go. Scotland Speedbird. Looks like Scotland may have landed and took back off, so I'm gonna I'm gonna swing around. Please clean the windows to getting dirty. Yes. Yes, they are Tomos! Tomos is back. Welcome back, Tomos. Check out some Pacific Air. Oh, to Tomos has joined us. Heck yes. Welcome, welcome, Tomos. Tomos flying along, checking out some Pacific Air. Alright, I'm going to go back to the internal cockpit view. Yeah, 20 degree flaps, okay. Get that baby on the ground. Yes, we're going to get it on the ground. Here we go. Let's make this turn. Oh, see, and that's something I haven't really paid much attention to is um, so 10, de 10 degrees in the downwind, extra 10 in the base. And I need to come on down. Let me, oh my gosh, I am not doing really well right now. Bring that nose down. There we go. Okay, now we're better. We're better. I came in a little too high. And most importantly, hold my speed. Yes. I'm coming in a little too high, a little too fast. And I'm flying right into the sun as well. Look out, Lima Kilo Mike. I'm coming in hot. Thank goodness for that hill. <laughs> we did it. Oh my gosh. Don't fall off the cliff, Scruff. Don't fall off the cliff. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm thankful for that hill. That's for sure. All right, let me set the parking brake. We'll break the drone out. And um, let's have a look around the island. There we go. <clears throat> oh, that was uh, that was pretty scary for me. Um, I, I'm still I'm still really, really learning on the landings. Uh, so last night and just then was was two of the most uh, risky landings that I've ever done. So this is what they call Shark Bay. This is Shark Bay. So I assume that uh, there's a lot of sharks in this bay, right? Or it wouldn't be called Shark Bay. When you go to turn, hold right, brake, full and full power. Okay, see, so yeah, and I kind of learned, I have kind of learned to hold my brake to help make the turns tighter. But I was afraid to go full throttle because I didn't want to um, get too fast after the turn. But yeah, thank you for that. I'll take I'll take all the tips that you all are willing to give me. So there's Shark Bay. Oh no! 
how did I did I hit one? <laughs> did I hit one of you guys? Okay, so how can I go back to where I just landed? Will it restart me there if I hit restart? Oh no, did it? Yeah, so I'll have to do the slew trick. Okay, no problem at all. I actually, I actually had to slew in to the island um, that I initially started stream on as well. So no problem with that. Okay, yep. So we're gonna we're gonna take off from here. All right. Um, let's see here. F one brought me down. Will F two bring me up? No, wait. I gotta hit F. I gotta hit Y first. So what lifts me up if F1? Okay, hang on a minute. Let me get my map. Rotate. We get the right heading. There we go. And now we'll just head over to you guys. So what's the shortcut to um, gain some altitude here? I know I can hit F1 to go down, but there's gotta be a, there's gotta be a shortcut to go up too though, right? F4, okay, cool, thank you. There we go, because I definitely didn't want to crash into the island once I get there. Cool deal, thank you. With the 172, usually around 2100 RPM, hold 80 knots downwind, 10 degrees of flaps. When turning base, add an extra 10 degrees in flaps. Reduce the Two to three hundred RPM, hold eighty and trim, then go in final sixty-five knots and trim. If too high, reduce power. If too low, add power. Yeah, and see that's exactly what um Dwarven Egg was telling me last night. Once you get to that point, um you fly using your um engine RPM. You just let the engine RPM either pick you up or, or drop you down. And so that's really, really good advice. Um thank you. All right, my daughter is texting me. So while I slew in, let me see what she's having to say. Okay, not a big deal. So it's really cool to, to hear from real pilots uh, like you, Peanut, and Dwarven Egg that are giving me advice. I mean, that's, that's really amazing of you guys to come in and, and help me out, which in turn helps everybody else in stream out as well. I'm slewing in as quickly as my graphics card will let me. My graphics card must be taxing pretty good. Um, I've got a uh, NVIDIA GeForce 1080. Or is it 10, 1080 or 1050? 1080, I'm pretty sure it is. But anyways, that's my graphics card. I built this PC right before the uh, 3070 and stuff came out. Looking outside because if your speed is too low, push the yoke to increase speed. Going too fast, pull a bit to slow down. Any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you very much, Peanut. I appreciate it. And and I would not have had the confidence to do that if Dwarven Egg had not got in on a voice call um, on, and voice with me last night during the stream and guided me into that island. And that really, really helped boost my confidence tremendously. I appreciate that. Thank you. A lot of flight simmer streams are educational streams. Um, my streams are educational to me. Um, letting letting you guys educate me. So uh, again, I truly do appreciate that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I probably should have started from the map. But uh, I'm almost there. That probably would have been quicker. Especially as uh, as slow as my graphics card is is loading in. Almost there, y'all. Almost there. Uh, if you're just joining my stream, and also those of y'all that are flying along with me, I do have my custom livery loaded into flightsim.to if you wanted to download it um, to put in your community folder so that you can see my plane uh, in your game as you see it on my stream. Um, just go to flightsim.to and then type in uh, search. Search for Scruffy Tam and you'll see it. Um, also, if you want the link, if you just type in livery in chat, it'll uh, shout the link out too. All right, there we go. So I have almost caught up with y'all. Let me slide over a little bit. I uh, know not even an exclamation mark. I took away where, where you don't have to type in exclamation marks on a lot of things. On my new commands, I've got it where you don't have to type in exclamation. So just, uh, just type in the word and it'll pull it up. I didn't realize that that was a thing that you could do this without. There you go. Thank you. So there's the, there's the link for the custom livery if you're interested. Of course, it's not, not required. All right. Let me get this, get this lined up and we'll uh, take back off. There we go. Okay, we are on. <laughs> we landed. We landed at a rate of negative 35, 14 feet per, feet per minute. All right. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and take back off. And let's see how far away we are from our next destination. What time is it? I'm probably not going to have time to make it to the next destination. So let's just do some flying around here. Uh, because I, I really don't have time to make it to the next destination. Yeah, my aircraft is rolling. I can see it. Let me jump inside and we'll get, get ready for takeoff. So flaps down. Um... Why aren't you putting me inside the aircraft? Why am I not going inside? Huh. Oh, I'm still in drone view. That's why. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Park and brake off. Whoa, crap, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. That wasn't very smart, and I'm in the water, and... Oh, golly. Okay, I'm gonna spawn in. Let's go to main menu, I'm gonna spawn in. Sorry about that, I should not have started on that hill i should have went to the top of the hill was not thinking so let's go back to the world map holy crap i invited everyone to fly along with me and then i crash and i'm missing out on all the fun sorry everybody all right so where is this where is this island at i know right how long do i have um, I've got, I've got a half hour. I've got a half hour. Okay, so th the island that y'all are at is just over this way. 
Screw it. I'll just I'll spawn in right here. And let's see. Let's see where I'm at in relation to you guys. Dang, that was uh never start off trying to go uphill. And so I should be able to slew in a little bit closer to y'all and then um We'll see. I'll go ahead and start. Oh yeah, I'm not too far away. I'm not far away from y'all at all. So let me, um, I'm going to go ahead and slew into you. Max Knife. How's it going, Max Knife? How are you? Welcome to the channel. I hope you are doing well today. How are you and Mrs. Whoa, I hit the wrong button again. How are you and Mrs. Max Knife doing? Okay, once I get once I get settled here, we'll go ahead and start flying to the next island. Uh, my apologies once again for that. I'm doing fantastic, uh, Max Knife. So y'all check out. Let me give Max Knife a shout out really quick. Uh, Max Knife and their wife, Mrs. Max Knife, are both streamers. Uh, be sure you check them out. They do a lot of uh, scary games. Napping for the moment. All right, here I am. I am right above y'all. Um, I'm glad that y'all are doing well, Max Knife. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and uh, continue. Let's see. The heading is gonna be. I'm gonna fly a heading of 85. 85 degree heading and let's fly got an external view there we go so I'm just gonna continue flying sorry about all that mess y'all I'm still I'm still kind of a new pilot right so I apologize for all that let's get my uh FLC mode on altitude. I want to fly at a thousand feet and heading of what I say 85. All right, there we go. All right, everybody's still there. We go. There's everybody. Jim Ferno, Lima Kilo, Mike, Dwarven Egg. Did we lose? Uh, we lost Tomos. I'm sorry, y'all. I am so sorry that uh, that I had all those issues and I lost some of you guys. I really do apologize for that. I try to make my streams uh, very engaging for everybody, and I kind of messed up that fly along, didn't I? No, Tomos is back with us. Yes, there's Tomos, Lima Kilo Mike, Dwarven Egg, and Jim Ferno. Heck yes. <laughs> Don't be sorry. You never waste time, but always learn something new. Yes, no doubt. I definitely learned some new stuff right there. Jim Ferno in a B748. What? All right. Santa voice for five minutes, and Tomos just on back in. All right, y'all. So, Kid Knives has redeemed santa voice for five minutes so let me get on my santa hat i know right what's the stream without technical issues right all right five minutes of santa voice starts right now courtesy of kid knives thank you so much for that i call this santa voice but it's really more like a murder murder trivia party voice yeah, that's right. It's entertaining, right? So I provided some entertainment. Bam! Thank you so much for the gifts um, to, um, to Peanut. 
Dude, ma'am, that was so kind of you. Alright, it's still dark. It's still dark in real time, so I'll go back to sunrise. Bam, thank you so much for that gift sub. I truly appreciate that. Thank you for the support. And Peanut, enjoy your emotes and enjoy the gift sub as well. Let's see. There we go. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, so we still have Jim Ferno, Dwarven Egg, Tomos, and Lima Kilo Mike flying along with us. Thank you for the fly along. Yes, Peanut is definitely a great addition to the community. Uh, oh, you gotta go? No problem, Jim Ferno. Jim, thank you so much for flying along. It has been fun. It's always good to see you. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. What? You had it on the Xbox and your old roommate, brother who's a drug addict, stole your hard drive? Dang. Good stuff here, good stuff. I love the, uh, the aerobatics as we're flying along. Let me get some screenshots here. Yeah, enjoy your sock and sub badge. Because we're all about crazy mismatched socks here in this channel. Sorry, that was supposed to be a Discord. Someone asked me why I don't play a game anymore since you had it years ago. Oh, no problem. I had no idea what you were talking about, Dwarven Egg, but hey, it's okay. Now we know the rest of the story. This is the biggest fly along that I've, the biggest group flight that I've ever had here. So thank you guys. Oops. Take a look at the sunrise. Holy crap. It's amazing. Have you ever done that on a text before? Like, I have went to text somebody something. Um, in fact, I think it was... One of my employers one time had texted me something and I went to text my wife and tell her what they just said. And it was a negative text about what my employer said and I ended up sending it to my employer instead. Oh my gosh, yeah. That is so freaking embarrassing. Speedbird. There we go. Get a, another group shot of us all with our name tags. Thankfully, it was never anything that, like, got me in any trouble. Thankfully. Embarrassing? Yes. But in trouble, thankfully not. I've never lost a job over a text. There's Lee McKilo Mike doing some rolls for us. When do I usually stream? That is a good question, Peanut. Oh, you gotta go, Max Knight. Thank you so much. Appreciate you hanging out. Y'all have a great day. Tell, uh, give Mrs. Max Knight a big hug from me. It's good seeing you. Uh, Peanut, and thanks again, Kid Knives, for the uh, five minutes of Santa voice. It has now ended. And, uh, Bam is ready to go drinking. So I, I, I don't think I've ever told anybody go drinking but go drinking bam <laughs> just be safe good to see you thank you for hanging out 
uh peanut when do i stream that is a really good question up until basically yesterday it was really hard for me to come up with a stream schedule because of my work schedule but now that we're on christmas break i still will have next week that i have to work in my office but it'll be regular hours so this is my plan I've got to sit down and, and make sure this will work. But this is my plan for now is, oh gosh, that's an awesome shot. And get out of there. Perfect. Um, my plan is for each evening to stream. Um, now I probably will not be able to stream this evening or Yeah, third day in a row now and get used to it. Um, I won't be able to stream this evening, most likely. I won't be able to stream at all tomorrow, but starting Monday, so Monday night, Tuesday night, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So probably like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then after next week, I hope to be able to stream every day in the mornings. So stay tuned for a schedule. Uh, I am on Discord. I'm on um, Twitter and Instagram and also YouTube. So I'll be updating on those socials as soon as I get a regular streaming schedule. But thank you for asking. It means that you that you like being here and you're interested. So I appreciate that. Bam, it is 6.04 p.m. here in Sweden. Um, like I said, go go have fun. Be safe. Zenny boy. Zenny, thank you so much for the raid. Zenny, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. I am Scruffy Tam, a longtime gamer, and a been streaming for a little over a year. How are you guys doing? Let me give uh, Zenny a shout out. The Sprouts have arrived to spread the love. I love that message. I love that message. Uh, let me give Zenny a shout out. Y'all be sure to go follow Zenny. They were playing Pokemon. Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. Enjoy this short clip of one of Zenny streams. is here Liko Sam Manny by the sea is here Zenny boy y'all it's so wonderful to see you uh Leanne Liko Zan is also a streamer Manny do you stream by any chance do you oh thank you <laughs> thank you Zenny um let me give Leanne uh Liko Zan a shout out Leanne is an amazing British streamer so, friend of veggie, ours veggie, veggie, Zenny, it has been a while. It has been a while since I've seen you. I hope you are doing well. I am doing fantastically well. Doing really, really good. Thank you. And thank you for the raid. Holy crap. Leanne, how are you doing? Is uh, is Maddie by the Sea a streamer? Maddie does stream. Thank you so much. Let me give Maddie a shout out as well. Thank y'all. Thank you everybody for coming in. Um, I'll explain my... I'll explain my sock drawer name in just a minute <laughs> I love that clip that was amazing um Maddie by the Sea, last playing karaoke party. Dude, what? When you're Philly at 9 p.m. tonight. Awesome. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty funny clip. Uh, so I've got some... Uh, oh, he's a karaoke streamer. I've got some aerobatics going on here. But I've got several people from our community flying along with us. If you have flight sim, feel free to jump in. i uh, got Lima Kilo Mike doing putting on an air show for us. And Tomo's World, Tomos is another flight sim streamer, good friend of the community, a German streamer. Dwarven Egg, Dwarven Egg is also a streamer as well. They're a flight sim streamer, a good friend, a new friend of the community. And Scotland Speedbird, another friend of the community. 
Oh, thank you, Leanne. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you. I just put this uh, this camera up uh, yesterday. Actually, it's the first time I, I did this. So thank you. I, I I really enjoying the setup. I do have redder pedals, and um, you can see those with my sock cam. So yeah, you can see all my setup. So let me give some shout outs to some of our streamer friends in here. Um, Tomo's World, like I said, an amazing, very engaging um, German streamer. There's Tomo's. Oh, I am. I am in South Carolina. Holy crap. Tomo's, what was that? <laughs> Uh, that that's a really funny clip um, I am from South Carolina in the United States and then we've got Dwarven Egg a new uh, one of the newest members of our channel Dwarven Egg just joined last night The Dwarven Egg is a pilot in real life. Uh, helped me tremendously yesterday evening with the landing I was trying to do on a remote island in the Pacific. Um, oh, thank you, Leanne. That is so... Uh, I appreciate that. That is so kind of you to say that. Uh, so what I'm doing here... A flat spin. What I'm doing is yesterday morning... I'll, I'm, I'm going to drag my uh, map over here just for a minute. Yesterday morning, I decided I wanted to fly the Hawaiian Islands. I had done a coast-to-coast -to -coast tour of the United States. That ended yesterday morning. And I said, hey, why don't I do a coast... It ended, uh, excuse me, Thursday evening. Why don't I do a coast-to-coast... -coast, uh, forget everything I just said. Why don't I do a tour of the Hawaiian Islands? And then I said, you know what? Instead of that, let's look at some of the islands out in the Pacific Ocean. So we've done some discoveries of some really cool islands. I've looked up, I've Googled some of the islands and got some history behind them. And so we are coming up on the main main islands of Hawaii. Our next landing is gonna be right here. This little island. I may have to end stream before I get there though, unfortunately. My next stream, we will fly um, either to this island or from this island over to the mainland and then just tour Hawaii. So we'll do some flight tours of Hawaii. Oh, thank you, Leanne. I totally love it. Um, is, is it, um, you know, is it really engaging to watch the Pacific Ocean and a bunch of clouds? Mm, not really, but it is real time. Yes, it is real time. Um, but I try to keep it engaging by talking with my community and just, and I'm learning because I have real pilots like Dwarven Egg and Peanut in my chat. They, they help me. And then people like Tomos who've been flying, Lima Kilo Mike, who have been flying um, flight sim for a long time. They're, they've been a big help to me also. Uh, but it is real time. I can do real time weather. The weather is real time. So in the Pacific Ocean, this is what the weather is right now. Um, also, I can do real time time, but oh my gosh, we're gonna stick with this. So we're gonna stick with real time. So right now in the Pacific, the sunrise is happening right now. So if we were flying in this plane right now, where are we at right now in real life? This is what we would see. So I'm going to stick with it now because the sun is starting to rise. Y'all, the sunrises in this game are to die for, are to die for. Oh, turn on my navigation. Yeah, definitely. I need to do that. Thank you so much. I forgot about that. So let me turn on some lights. Let me go back inside the plane. So I do external view while I stream just for the engagement. But you can fly, of course, inside. Uh, I 
hit the wrong thing. Where are my navigational lights? I've got the nav lights on. Okay, so I'll turn on the landing light. Oh yes, yes, dude. The dra the, the graphics are absolutely incredible. <clears throat> and so right now I've got the plane in autopilot. It's flying itself, but I can take full control and control it just like a real airplane. Uh, and like I was showing you, I've got the internal view. Where, where I can do all the adjustments just like a real pilot would, but <laughs> a little flyover by Lima Kilo Mike there. But I do the external view just for uh, for stream because it gives a little little extra, you know, where you can see the externals a little bit better. So there, I've turned on my landing light. Um, So here's Tomos. Tomos is a streamer that's flying along with us. Dwarven Egg is a streamer. Dwarven Egg is a, is a pilot in real life. And then Lee Makilo Mike is a, is a friend of the community flying along with us. And I, I, you know, a lot of people complain about the price of, of this sim, but I'm telling you, Oh, Zenny's played this as well. He did the flight from Heathrow to JFK. I totally missed what you said. Literally took you all day to do that flight in a A380. Yeah, I bet it did. Oh, in case you get to fly in hazardous weather, having the landing light will reduce visibility. Okay, so kind of like in real life, if it's foggy and you turn your headlights on, it reduces visibility. So I need to turn... I need to turn my landing light off, right? There we go. All right, landing lights off. And now I've got my nav lights on. And so I've got this custom uh, livery. So the paint job on an aircraft is, is called a livery. And I actually commissioned somebody to do this custom livery for me. My RPMs, uh, let me go back. I should be good RPM wise, 2580. I'm at 2580. Hey, Hannah, welcome back. Good morning. You need to raid and run because it's dinner time here in the UK. Le Leanne, thank you so much for coming in on the raid. I appreciate you so much. Good to see you, friend. Um, Y'all, please go uh, check out Lika Zan. I know her as Leanne. A very fun streamer. You will have a fun time on her channel. In this case, it's not bad to be seen, but not necessary. And real time weather is sick. Yeah, I love I love the real time weather. What kind of graphic card do I have? I've got a um, Nvidia GeForce um, GTX 1080. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's a 1080. So I built my um, I built my PC right before the new like super crazy uh, I'm pretty sure it's a 1080 I, I had my PC built right before the the crazy um, graphics cards came out but I'm pretty happy with it I mean I haven't had any issues with it for the most part. I do have a really long, and I'm not going to bore y'all with it now, but a really long story about how I got totally screwed um, getting someone to build a PC for me when um, I ended up building my, one myself after spending 1500 bucks on a piece of crap. Good to see you too, Leanne. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your night. Be safe. See you soon. Let's see, how far away, what time is it and how far away are we? Um, dang, I'm 100 nautical miles away from the next airport, or next island, I should say. Oh, you got your booster shot, so you're taking it easy. I am fantastic, Hannah. Um, I have wonderful days. I don't get stressed out about stuff. 
um i rarely ever have anxiety about anything so my days are almost always good unless i just get a head cold or something but yeah i'm doing fantastic thank you thank you uh for all the new people in here today i'm not a pilot however i do have a remote pilot certificate which over here in the united states means that according to the federal aviation administration i can fly drones for money over here and so i've been a i've been a drone pilot for for quite a while hey ckb what's happening welcome welcome this morning morning for me anyways i know it's uh evening for you but how are you ckb um lopez what's going on lopez lopez is here uh, let me give some shout out ckb is a streamer lopez is also a streamer so check out crazy cosmic bunny playing some dark souls in this clip <laughs> uh, i am close to the red i'm in the yellow in rpm dwarven egg yeah let me back off a little bit sorry I'm just kind of um oh lopez is working let me give lopez a quick shout out shout out for lopez i'll back off the throttle a little bit um, I was on the... Oh, you're very welcome for the shout-out, Lopez. The game you streamed one time is showing Dark Souls. <laughs> what? Um, I, I, I was kind of on the throttle because I was trying to speed up getting to this island, which I'm, I'm probably going to have to end stream before we get to the island. I think this is Lima Kilo Mike flying right here beside us. Uh, we got Dwarven Egg over here and Tomos off here by my right wing. If I ever turn on failures, my plane would over rev and die. I'd throw a rod out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and crash and die. My wife and my daughter are texting me. My sister's texting me. Holy crap, I'm getting all the texts all of a sudden, but I'm going to ignore my text and focus on you guys. I'm going to change my heading also, by the way, um, to 195 to a heading of 95. In case any of y'all are flying autopilot there we go heading of 95 we'll go back to the external view sun is fixing to be up and we should have a pretty spectacular sunrise over here on the pacific can't be worse than releasing the part break and still crashing the pacific ocean <laughs> no doubt no doubt uh, that is definitely going to end up, um, I'm working on my, uh, a new intro video for my stream. So whenever you go to my stream, you know how it's got that one minute intro video that, that is back when I was doing a lot of, um, Jackbox and stuff. So I'm working on redoing that with some, some funny moments from here. And that will be one of the ones that will probably make it in. Yeah, sorry everybody for kind of uh, out flying y'all. I, I did not mean to leave everyone behind. Apologize for that. Uh, not yet, Hannah. They're on their way. It'll be tonight. The storms are supposed to be coming through tonight. And that's one reason why I may not stream tonight. Although I've got my PC well protected, I think. I've got a, um, I bought one of these uh, backup batteries that also is a uh, surge protector. So if we do lose power, I still have power to my PC for like an hour. 
but I mean, there's no reason in trying to risk it, right? All right, let's see here. Uh, Dwarven Egg, where am I at? I'm, I'm currently at 108 knots and my engine RPM is 2400. Let me back off a little bit more because either way, even if I'm wide open, I'm not gonna make it to this island before I have to wrap things up. So I'll just enjoy y'all's company. And then next time I stream, I'll probably start back from the island that we just took off from. Oh, you did catch up? Nice. Heck yeah. We're all flying together now. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Let's see if I can get a screenshot of all of us here together without the tags. There we go. Nice. I love group flights. This is so awesome. And I would pull out the drone camera and do a uh, like a top down view. <laughs> but I don't want to I don't want to mess that up. So y'all had thunderstorms last night and it's still raining now. Yeah, so I saw where um Jess was saying that she was planning on streaming today but that they had some uh, pretty rough storms that were going to be coming through. And so she lives west of where I live. Um, a couple, like two or three hours west. So I knew when she said that, that we'd be getting some, some of that weather as well. All right, I'm going to break out the drone camera. Let me see if I can get some drone shots um, of us all flying together here in formation. Let's see if this works out. Showcase, I'm going to turn the drone speed up some. Get rid of the menu. There we go. And let's see how this whoops, see how this works out. Nice, nice. That's pretty awesome looking. <clears throat> that is really, really cool. Yeah, I'll see if I can get a tail shot. Good stuff here, good stuff. <clears throat> I wish I had labels turned off, but that's okay. And I will eventually, gosh, I've got so much stuff I need to do over the next couple days as far as editing uh, a new a new trailer video or intro video. And I've taken a ton of screenshots lately that I need to edit and post to all my socials. beautiful sunrise once again we've seen the sunrise a couple times today so far all right i'm gonna knock autopilot off There we go. I put on my air brakes. I went to full flaps just to give you you guys time to uh, to catch up there. A little bit of fun <clears throat> messing with y'all. <laughs> Lima Kilo Mike doing the aerobatics again. You are flying an E three hundred. One of these days, I'm going to have the confidence to uh, to do some of these some of these aerobatics. That's that's really amazing stuff. I love watching you fly. 
it really is it's peaceful flying in formation really 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 cool that's what i love about about this this game the sim whatever you want to call it uh the ability to fly with viewers and uh you know do stuff like this see sites that i'll never i'll never be able to see these islands out in the middle of the pacific ocean but now because of this sim i can and i can share it with you guys lima kilo mike tailgating comes tomos tomos flying a 172 as well yeah no doubt lima kilo mike is a really really uh good pilot I thought I heard somebody else, but it must have been just the sound of these other aircraft flying around. Alright, still, oh gosh, we're still about 100 miles away from um, this island. 100 nautical miles. I'm not sure how that translates. But I think it's going to translate to more than what Lima Kilo Mike wishes you had autopilot. You gotta grab something to eat. Whoa. There comes Dwarven Egg flying by. We got the sun reflecting on the water now. I think we're fixing to get a light show. We got an air show, now we got a light show. Oh, Dwarven Egg doing some aerobatics in a 172 at that. Wow, did you just do a loop? In a in a a 172, did I see that or no? Yeah, the colors are incredible. It's a wing over loop. Wow, that was that was really impressive. Trim is set. Be right back. No problem, Lee McKilo Mike. Yeah, in good shape. Gradually uh ascending, so that's good. At least they're not descending. Dang it, I really, really, really want to make it to this island. Uh, Cessna's wings rip off at 3.4 Gs. The wing over will take you to 3.2. Oh, crap. So you're really pushing it to the limits when you do a wing over. Dang. So at one point, uh, at one point during my coast to coast uh, flight over the United States, I was flying a, um, oh shoot, what, what's the big Cessna? Um, Grand Caravan. I was flying the Grand Caravan. And my goodness, that thing breaks really easy. I broke it a bunch of times. And then someone said, hey, why don't you try the Beechcraft uh, Bonanza G36? So I switched to that and I really enjoyed it. But there's nothing that, there's nothing to me that flies better than this 172. Um, I really, really enjoy flying this aircraft. All right, y'all, the sun is starting to come up. If you're in real time, if you're in real time in real weather, um, this sun is looking incredible. Lima Kilo Mike, I hope you're in control of your aircraft again because you are descending now rather rapidly. We're just flying off into the sunrise. 
in the Pacific Ocean, out in the middle of the Pacific, nothing around us, no land for miles and miles. This, this could be a song that Tomos could write. In the middle of the Pacific, flying nowhere specific, going from aisle to aisle, it's still 90 miles. This is why I don't sing. Because I can't sing a thing. <laughs> oh, if I could if I could play guitar, I would be scary, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> give me great ideas. <laughs> That's the point, Tomos. That's the point. <laughs> Hope we see a volcano. I don't... What rhymes with volcano? I don't know if there's anything that rhymes with volcano. Um... Lima Kilo Mike, I, again, I hope that you are in control of your aircraft because if not, you're about to go into the ocean, my friend. Do a wing over? Yeah, right. Lima Kilo is descending rather rapidly. They're at 230, 200, 187, 165. They must be in control because you're, you're gaining pretty rapidly too. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Here we go. 30, 20, 10 and they are i think i think they just crashed into the ocean uh we need a uh we need a rescue team for lima kilo mike please paging water rescue for lima kilo mike in the middle of the uh, pacific ocean please we need a rescue team for lima kilo mike in the middle of the pacific ocean please Oh, man. This, uh, this sunrise is absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> It was quite entertaining watching you slowly uh, descend into the ocean, though, Lima Kilo Mike. I did. Uh, I have summoned a rescue crew, so hopefully, hopefully, someone will be along shortly to uh, pull you back out, rescue you. Which I don't know how long it takes by a boat. Maybe a uh, maybe a rescue helicopter will get there quicker than a boat would. It worked out really good for a little bit, though, Lima Kilo Mike. You were actually uh, ascending for a little while. And then I looked, and you were descending, so I thought you were back in control and, and trying to catch up. But holy crap, that went south literally really quick. This is a pretty cool shot. This is this is almost poetic. With Tomos flying into the sunset, the sunrise in the background as I'm flying in the, in the foreground as I'm flying in the background. Holy crap, I totally messed that up, didn't I? Beautiful views here. Beautiful views. All right, I do need to be, um, I need to be wrapping things up. Uh, let's see here. But before I do, let me have a little fun and hope I don't crash.
All right, we're trying to catch up to Dwarven Egg here. Just having a little fun. Having a little fun right before I end the stream. I am going to have to go ahead and wrap things up, y'all. I, I am not going to make it to that island in time. Yeah, that was cool. Have a little bit of flying fun here with our friends in the community. Tomos, Lima Kilo Mike, and Dwarven Egg. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for flying along. Um, I'm going to go ahead back into autopilot. Let me look and see what flight sim streamers are currently streaming. Ah, uh, Allison Johnson, y'all. If you know Allie, and I'm sure everyone in here probably knows Allie. Cockpit view for the loop. Um, if you know Allie, I'm going to go ahead and raid Allie um, in just a minute. Let me... Um, I'm going to go ahead and spawn out of the game, y'all. Thank you so much. Tomos, thank you for flying along. And Lee Makilo Mike and Dwarven Egg, thank you for flying along. Everybody else who jumped in, Jim Perno, um, those other friends of ours that jumped in, thank you so much for it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spawn out of the game for now. Let's exit out to the main menu. And go to my just chatting screen. Thank you so much. It has been super fun. Um, oh, dude, Thomas, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.